Hey guys, TT Racing here, and today I want to help you get your low fuel motorsports license. Since I've noticed an uptick on posts on sites like Reddit, where people mention that they are unable to meet the required threshold of a 149 around the Hungaro ring. So in this video I'm gonna go over one lap of my own license run and show you all of my breaking points and general notes for each corner. And at the end of the video, I'll also highlight where you need to be especially careful when you do your hot state. So without further ado, let's get right into it. And for turn one, you want to start breaking around the 120 meter mark, which is conveniently just after the black tire marks on the track on the left side of the track here are starting. For this corner, you want to stay to the left side of the track as long as possible and just aim for a simple late apex. The only thing that's important here is basically the traction for your corner exit since you are on a decently long straight right after. For turn 2 you want to start braking just before the curbs on the right side of the track. There are several lines for this corner which are acceptable but the most common ones are a late apex or a double apex. For the double apex approach you want to turn in a bit sooner than is shown in this clip, hit the white curbs once, drift out a bit and then hit the white curbs again. For the late apex, which is showcased here, you basically skip hitting the white curbs for the first time and aim for an apex a bit deeper down the corner. And the most important thing here is that you are setting yourself up to get as far as possible towards the left side of the track after you exit this corner, since this opens up the entry for turn 4 and reduces the likelihood of you running wide on the exit. For turn 5, you again want to start braking as soon as you hit the curbs on the right side of the track, decelerate a fair bit. And if you're very comfortable with your car, you can take all of the inside curve of this corner. But since you're doing a hot stint and not a hot lap, I'd advise you to use a bit less of the inside curves for safety reasons. Then you just want to make sure to not run too wide on the exit. And again, try to sway back to the left side as soon as possible and as far as you can. As soon as the green stuff behind the curves on the right side is ending, you want to start braking and aim for a rather late apex in this corner. For the chicane, you want to start breaking approximately one car length after the curbs on the left side of the tracks are emerging. Turn in rather sharp, take a lot of the first curb and try to avoid the second curb, as this will smooth your exit and unsettle your car less. The next landmark you want to look for is the tree that is closest to the track on the right side. And just before you pass that tree, you want to just gently tap your brakes, turn in and stay towards the left side of the track, as this will immediately open the next right hander. Here you wanna again just gently tap your brakes when the curbs on the right side of the track are ending. Then you're just coasting into the corner and as soon as you hook up with the curbs on the right hand side, you can start to accelerate again. And then it's not too important to come back to the right side of the track since the next left hander is easily doable even if you're around the middle of the track. You just wanna make sure to get back to the left side of the track as soon as possible afterwards. For turn 11 you start to brake just before the curbs on the left side of the track are emerging and then just coast into the corner and again, same as before, as soon as you hook up with the curbs on the inside of the track, you can start to accelerate again. The braking point for turn 12 is somewhere around the middle area of the 100 meters brake board and the beginning of the curbs on the left side. In this corner you want to take all of the available curbs on the inside and try to keep your minimum speed as high as possible. And this already brings us to the penultimate corner, for which you want to start braking, just after you pass the advertisement board. For the corner itself, the same rules as for turn 2 apply, where you can either go for a double apex or for a late apex, as shown in this clip. The two most important things for this corner are A, getting decent traction and exit, and B, setting yourself up so that you come back to the left side of the track as soon as possible. The final braking point on this track for the last corner is this stewarding post on the left side here. And again, as for a lot of corners on this circuit, you can either go for a double apex or for a late apex. The only important thing being that you get a decent exit, since this will more or less determine whether you will gain or lose time on the start finishing straight. So with that out of the way, I'm quickly gonna highlight some corners where I need to be extra careful since it's really easy to invalidate your lap time there due to different factors. Starting off with turn 3, there are two things that can go wrong. First of all, you need to carefully gauge how much of the inside curb here you want to use. If you use too much, you'll majorly unsettle your car. And the second thing is, if you get a poor exit from turn 2, 
and are around the middle area of the track at the corner entry, then you should definitely lift off the throttle a bit since you are very likely to run wide on the exit. And basically the same things can be said for turn 4, where the only two threats are A, running wide and B, using too much of the inside curb, which again will likely unsettle your car. Next on we have turn 11, where I just want to make sure to not step on the throttle too early, since the only major threat here is that you run wide right on the corner exit. And lastly, there is turn 14, where you should be wary of two things. Stay away from the white curbs on the inside of the corner exit. And more importantly, keep in mind that the green exit curbs here are a lot more slippery than you would initially assume. So yeah, that's pretty much it for my track guide for the Hungaro ring. That should easily allow you to pass the low fuel motorsports hot stint for your personal license. If you did enjoy the video or got something useful out of it, you could consider subscribing to this channel for more sim racing content. Additionally, if you have any feedback whatsoever, any further requests, you can just leave a comment below or just write me in Discord, links in the description. I'm now gonna put the same lab that was showcased during this video in the third person cam in order to showcase how a semi-decent lab would look like. And with that said, I'll catch you in the next one. Have a good one and happy racing!